So let's uh, put down some notation for queues uh, and queuing theory. Um, whenever we have a queue, we start with the server, and we usually or we always draw servers like this as a circle. And we always have customers or service requests arriving over here. So the service requests. arrive into a buffer where they can be uh, where they can wait and then they are served by a server and then they depart the server and of course they may go into some other queue further down the line with you know and but uh, we'll study that later um, the, uh, the this the the service requests are also called jobs And these are well, these are waiting in the queue over here, which is this is the queue or buffer. And they're in the buffer because at the time that they arrive, the server is busy, and so the uh, service request is either going to be dropped or put into a buffer. The buffers can be infinite with this idealization, or they can be finite. And if they're finite, then at some point, arriving sub service requests will not have space in the queue, and they will be dropped. So the quantities that we are interested in are things such as the mean waiting time, which is how long do we need to wait on average for to get service, for a customer to get service. And the other thing that you're quite interested in is the uh, mean number of customers in the queue. That's how many, well, how big the queue is on average. So the mean waiting time is often denoted by capital T. And uh, the, the mean number of customers in the queue is denoted usually by capital N. And there is a very interesting relationship between the two, and this is called Little's Law. The Little's Law says that if the mean arrival rate is lambda customers or lambda jobs per second, so lambda jobs per second, then n equals lambda t, which means that the mean number of customers in the queue is the product of the arrival rate and the mean waiting time. And uh, so this maybe, uh, maybe at first sight looks quite obvious that this is what's going on, but uh, maybe it's not obvious. So here's a little sketch of a proof. So let's say what we do is that the person, the job that last arrives into the queue, we, we color them like this, we color them red like this, and we observe as they watch there, as they m make their way into the system, and they're eventually going to go to the front of the system, and, they get, and they're going to get served. So uh, how long did they wait? Well, on average, they're going to wait t seconds for them to be, uh, to be served. And in these t seconds that they're waiting to be served, we're going to have lambda t that are going to be in the time that the red customer has gone from the beginning of the queue to the end of the queue, somewhere from, from the beginning to the end, we uh, that's going to be t seconds. In that time, at the arrival rate lambda, lambda t customers are going to be coming in. And this is the mean number of customers that we expect to be in the queue. And so that is what is equal to n over here. So n equals lambda t. So that's sort of the intuition of how of what is going on. This is not a very formal proof, but you can find a more uh, detailed proof in the, in the notes uh, or book, and uh, a much more mathematically precise uh, form of the proof can be found in papers on this topic.